Evening everyone. Um, hopefully you can hear us alright. Uh, we are uh, we thought we'd do a, a top top five moments of 2016 basically because it's it's been our first year of vlogging. Well I think I think it's only been like nine, ten months. We haven't we haven't yeah. spent the whole year vlogging but it's um, it's been interesting. We wanted to do it as a sort of like a bit of a laugh, something something extra to do. But it also like documents our, our progress. Yeah, starting from the bottom. Started from the bottom, no now way. we're 307 subscribers. We have actually got 307 subscribers now. So that's pretty good. Um, thanks for subscribing. If you're not, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, hopefully this footage isn't too fucking bouncy. Oh well. If you've got a car with sensible to seven sensible that fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Take your fucking helmet, mate. <laughs> Alright, we'll cut that. Right. Well, maybe if you've got, got a car with sensible fucking suspension, mate, it would uh, it'll be alright. It's quite it's quite bouncy in the gang. Uh, but yeah, so we'll um, we'll run through our, our, our top five. So num number five, we'll start off with uh, Santa Pond. Uh, the flooded day, we'll call it. Um, I think that that was that was like our first. We, basically, when we when we started vlogging, we got a lot of shit for whatever reason, um, and a lot of people were like basically saying, "Oh, they don't drift, all this sort of stuff." But basically, what had happened was it was like coming out of winter time. We've been drifting the year before, um, and we started started vlogging, and we did we did like a show didn't we and yeah. we did like a meet meet the team kind of thing and then a show and everyone was like oh they don't drift and that's that's what it was it was meant to be like a little bit of an introduction um, yeah, basically. yeah who we are what cars we have yeah and whether it worked or not obviously it's it's we ain't got a lot of views isn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah th thanks for the haters basically everyone that's watched that video you're basically you're making us money so <laughs> I, th I, th I think we made about 5p off youtube revenue <laughs> So yeah, so we went went to Santa Pod and it was our first first drift video for for everyone to finally see us in action. And uh, unfortunately, mm. it was like the wettest day of the year or it something. Was, it was, it like was ridiculous. Mad. It was, yeah. I mean, obviously, we were in England, we're used to being driving in the rain. Um, we, I think most of the drift days that we'd done up to that point had been in the rain. In the wet, yeah. Um, but this was early in the year. Um, worst weather we could really have had, to be honest. It was. I think uh, by about half halfway through the day, I think the majority of the track was flooded. So like you, yeah. we were making our own circuit. Yeah, you know, not not around, not using the cones, but using the the puddles of water basically <laughs> to make, make new corners and make new apexes and stuff. So yeah. that was pretty interesting. Pretty yeah, good. but it, it was it was a good day even so. Mm. No, I, it was fantastic. I, I was yeah. having trouble with my uh, my starter motor as well. So <laughs> oh, every, <laughs> every time that it stalled, we had to get someone to come over and fucking bump start me so that we could carry on. Was it Sean's dad? That had to run out onto the track because you 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 stalled it on a big corner, hadn't you? Well, what had, what had happened? <laughs> what had happened was I'd I'd come come round big corner, I hit the biggest like puddle going, <laughs> and it ripped my front bumper off, my side skirt, and, it, and then obviously I, I pulled over, fucking stalled it. Uh, that that wasn't uh, wasn't <laughs> wasn't a great moment. It had, it had ripped it had ripped everything like through the fiberglass it hadn't it hadn't just come off it had ripped all my bolts through the so through the, the fiberglass the bolts were still in the car but yeah. they were no longer in the, <laughs> the, the panels are no longer on the car so that, that was uh that was interesting yeah, but should... it was it was a proper good day that was yeah yeah and I think that, that was the first time that we'd done like tried to get footage of of us drifting so it was it was an experience obviously yeah definitely yeah trying to remember to to film and trying to yeah, know where to put the cameras. It, I, I didn't even have a GoPro at that point, did I? No, you like didn't. That, I was I was borrowing GoPros off different people for yeah. different sessions, and it was it was a mess. Yeah, but. it definitely sort of hit home like how difficult it was actually going to end up being doing drifting and vlogging at the same time. Mm. I, I decided to get in in the car with uh, you and Sean, like mm. one after another. And watching the footage back, it was just such such a difference from uh, being in the S13 to being in the RX8 that we had to do <laughs> we had to do a little bit of elevator music for. Ah, ah. 
for Sean because it was just it just felt so serene and uh, yeah. <laughs> and fucking slow. Well, I think obviously, obviously at that point, yeah, that was before Sean had his shotgun, so it was it was quite quiet. And yeah, yeah. Every the, the, the slow, full interior, full interior. The slow speed, obviously because of the weather, made everything a bit slower. So yeah, well, it, obviously not 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 to take anything away from Sean. It was just <laughs> it was just a funny it, moment. It's just all bent to, it's all bent to me. Yeah. Number five, Santa Pod. First drift day on camera, not first drift day in total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number four, Driftland. Awesome Boss. This was, um, so yeah, Awesome Boss was a uh, an event kind of half organised um, by uh, Mark Huxley. Uh, you will know him from the BDC. Um, we, we love Hux, he's such a good lad. Um, Anyway, I don't know how it came about, but we got invited to, uh, to, to, to drive up to Driftland for this event. Uh, basically, it was like a weekend event. Um, really cool cars, cool people. Um, yeah, and it, it, it was amazing to just get invited, to be honest, wasn't it? Yeah, it kind yeah. of came out of the blue, because we'd only really done pod up until that point, hadn't we? Yeah, basically, or, or like the tiniest bit of street out. Yeah. Well, that, that, was, that was basically it. Yeah. So we... we it was our first ever time being on a track, so obviously we were quite quite anxious about that, like how that was going to happen. Yeah, and obviously, and the other thing, being in front of so many people as well. Yeah, you know, it, it was a big event. Yeah, you know, it was. Yeah. Uh, lots of spe- people went up just to spectate, which you know, yeah. So there was a been in there was situation. a lot of pressure. I don't think it was quite as daunting as the drive up. I think that was the most scary part for me. But I think Google Maps said it should have taken us about six hours. Um, in reality, it took us uh, well. It took us about eight, eight and a half hours. And why, why was that, Perry? <laughs> why did it take oh, us so long? I, I, I couldn't tell you, mate. It must just been a uh, must been an accident on the way, or so a bit yeah. of traffic. Uh, no, I ended up getting us lost. <laughs> <laughs> we did see that one police car, didn't we? Yeah. Who then turned around <laughs> to fucking follow us? It, it, was, it was incredible. I say it was amazing just to get invited, let alone um, let alone you know to, to you know actually go and do it. Yeah. Yeah, I had a had a lot of uh, a lot of issues with um, sort of ha- having uh, I don't know. I basically I, I spent a lot. <laughs> I spent a hell of a lot to the point where there's uh, there's <laughs> there's one one guy in particular. Um, oh, he loved it. That we we won't name. I'm sure you've probably all seen the spin the bottle. All have seen it. Like, <laughs> spin, spin the berry. The, 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 the memes were rife. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, essentially, like I, yeah, I I did spin a hell of a lot at that point. But they do they say it like if you watch any of any footage from like any any event there, it's basically it's just a car killer that that track. Yeah, well, like ev- I think everyone it, like aero everywhere. Well, I think I think the track and the layout and everything invites it. It invites you to. It makes you want to enter. You know, maybe go beyond your yeah, capability yeah. a little yeah, bit. Definitely. Um, yeah, because you want to, yeah, you want to do the track justice. If, if if you're watching this and you're kind of thinking about, yeah, if you're in two minds about doing doing Driftland, um, take it from us, 100%. You have to go and do it. Yeah, it it's no matter. Yeah, it, it, it's worth the trip. It, it's it's a fantastic venue. The track's brilliant. Uh, the, the guys there that run it are, are, are sound. Yeah, yeah, they're all into drifting. They they know what they're talking about. And um, yeah, 100%. Go up and do it. No excuses. Yep. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, have the me. Yeah. Just do it. Follow your dream. <laughs> well, yeah. So number three, uh, being uh, being hook lock. So um, mm. yeah, we spoke earlier about Perry having um, <laughs> having. <laughs> so, so we spoke earlier about Perry having. Um, um, Stop lock when we did uh, Driftland. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <What was wrong? laughs> well, basically, because I was having I was having so m- so many issues with like having stop lock, and I think I think like I I wanted to like flick into corners and stuff, and I just couldn't. I would always be over rotating like, every time. So I thought like I I got some money together and decided that I needed to go and and do something. And obviously, there's there's quite a few different options out there and there like yeah quite uh, wise cheat and um like what are they call geos and stuff like that Ge- yeah yeah so there's, there's quite a few options works. out there but obviously like everyone knows about hooks lock yeah like everyone and because because we, we um because we knew hooks 
um, I thought that really like you should go and support support a friend like if you're gonna, yeah. if you're gonna do something like if if your mate can fabricate stuff then go to them for fabrication and stuff yeah like that's that. it not not only yeah well, obviously we know that it's a uh, it's a, it's a fantastic product and it's it's everything that you were looking at but it's, yeah the, the the cherry on the top is that we're supporting a guy Books. that we the yeah. guy, a guy that we know and the guy that we um yeah, respect respect a lot really yeah. and the lock is insane like i'll put some pictures up now um one of them is me like spinning as well and you can see how extensive that lock actually is it's like uh, i swear it's all it's almost 90 degrees yeah and like since since i've had the the, the hooks lock now obviously I'm, I'm able to to throw the car into corners and know that it's not gonna it's not gonna just spin round, and i can keep it on that that sort of that angle and throw it through um yeah. so for me like i'm so much more happier now that i can actually bloody drive the car yeah i mean uh, what from yeah my even my uh, what my observations are that not only have you got the physical more lock so you're able to to catch saves you know make saves and catch spins and stuff but you've also got a lot more confidence so you, oh, you, you you're you're driving harder than you were because you've got more confidence that you can you can pull it off and you're not you're not going to spin yeah uh, number two on the list is um coventry motor fest so um that was awesome. It, that was incredible. Um, as I say, we said earlier, we're, we're from a city called Coventry in the West Midlands. Um, and every year, see, for the past three years, they've, they've, they've had like, the city has run a, um, a big motoring festival called Coventry Motor Fest. Um, and basically, it's, it's, it's amazing. It, it's, it's, not, it's not focused on any one type of motorsport. It, it's like a... It's like a celebration of motoring and motorsport as a whole. In so, general, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Coventry, yeah, the city has got a, a long history with the automotive industry, so I think that's what it's. Uh, yeah, definitely. Trying to celebrate. <laughs> Certainly, uh, see, seeing the Vulcan was incredible, and hearing the Vulcan was incredible as well. But yeah, that's the kind of thing. Yeah, they shut off the ring road. Um, they have all manner of racing cars, classic cars. Um, and then they had our, our section, which was essentially like a. It was just a car park, really, but they'd they'd got it all set up as like an, an oval so they had a lot of oval car racer type stuff going on and then they had us and I think like it it was awesome in the fact that we got to legally drift in our own in our in our hometown in the center of our city in the, in the center yeah. of our city for people to watch us stuff so we, we got to um hey watch the vlog like I'll put I'll put a little annotation at the top of this watch the vlog and you'll see like that we had we were promised certain things um, and you can see how the the track was laid out and just the madness that ended up happening for it yeah because it was it was so fun I think we, we didn't even do like a huge amount of driving because there were so many other people with different slots in there um, but the driving that we did do was so fun it was, it was incredible and we, we got we got like the crowd pumped as well like we, we were able to sort of like sort of get people cheering and clapping and stuff and I thought that was that was pretty awesome to be able to do that yeah I say I think a lot a, the majority of the the crowd there yeah probably weren't drift fans they weren't yeah into drifting as such but um, yeah and, and yeah and that that was good yeah to to yeah be able to, to showcase that to, to all these different people it's, yeah definitely yeah that, that yeah. was an awesome awesome day we, we even had like friends and family obviously yeah, not even people that are like family that that didn't know we were at the event. Yeah, they were going anyway. Yeah, and yeah, they they caught up with us in the pits and like, oh yeah, just seen you out there. So, so it was properly awesome. Yeah, and hopefully we get the uh, like if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, if you're still watching this far in, <laughs> uh, come come and see us driving. And uh, if if you're organising this uh, this event, please give us the call back because that was awesome. We enjoyed that so much. Yeah. Number right. one has got to be Rockingham Outer Paddock Drift Days. Yep, 100%. They were, like, it was the first first time we'd gone. We had a couple of reservations about, like, how how the lines worked, how it was one one lap, and then you would have to uh, go and line back up. But when we when we got there, and we had a couple of laps, it made it made so much sense, like, how, how it was set, set up. Yeah, it, it ran. It ran like like clockwork. The I th to be honest, I can't 
I can't think of anything bad about the whole day. There it, wasn't it, anything. There was there was nothing that could have been better, or nothing that could have been improved. It, it was just perfect. Yeah, like the the, the organisation was brilliant. The 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 venue was brilliant. Yeah. The track was was it was a good layout. Yeah, was, the uh, surface was really nice. Yeah. The thing I like about going out to track layout is that they they do change it up. Um, uh, for most, yeah, mostly it changes from from event to event. So. Yeah, I, I think like if if you've never been to a Rockingham Drift Day, definitely put it on your list as one of one of the places to go. Yeah, hundred percent. Because 100%. It, it it was properly awesome. The vibe was so good. Like we went we went with some friends. Mm, yeah, I think that, that that was a that was a like yeah a, a a big part of that day for us was um, we went with a big group of people. Um, yeah, some of the guys that uh, yeah, some guys were driving, some guys weren't driving. They just came as passengers. But um, yeah, some of the drivers you'll see clips of in, in the vlog were yeah, Lewis and Jake Noakes. Uh, they had a pair of chasers um, uh, and Skid Matthew Chidley in his um, S14. They had NA. Yeah, the NA one. NA, yeah, which we didn't, we didn't realise until the end of the day. <laughs> if, if you if you watch the vlog, there'll be an annotation above this. If you watch the vlog of that one, all you can hear is him kicking the shit out of that car. <laughs> So much. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. NA took took quite a bit of driving from what I understand. Yeah, and he drove it so fucking well. Mm. Like uh, to to be able, it, especially considering it was NA and, and none of yeah, us yeah. were. Yeah, we were all big turbo cheating. Yeah. Um, I remember. I remember him saying as well. Uh, he, he he said, "Can you stop co- coming off the line so quick? I need to try and get near you." <laughs> <laughs> so oh. fuck it, I don't even know how. But yeah, so I, the the way they were set up meant that. He, like running trains was was like super easy to do yeah um and that obviously brings on to the point that we actually got to do some trains and stuff and we'd never we'd never done that before no. and that was an awesome like just the the adrenaline from yeah. being able to sort of like drive close to your mates and then like know that there was three four people behind you as well doing yeah. exactly the same thing on on, on the uh, that, that big right hander yeah like you you i remember watching um, i think i was following you at the time yeah, I was watching you going going through. I was trying to stay on you, and then forget out of nowhere, fucking Chidley appeared, and like <laughs> I, I could hear him and, and see him out of my uh, out of my driver's window. Yeah. I think there's a clip actually where I where I uh, I, I, I look round because I, I notice him out of my uh, driver's window, and then and then I sk- I, I spin on the next corner because I think he uh, I blame him for that. I blame <laughs> you for that. Just Dist- distractions. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, I did a slip wheel spin. Yeah, yeah, the, cl- the classic, the classic, the classic spin wheel. <laughs> oh fuck's sake! Um, yeah, I think the one one thing that was uh, that sort of sticks out as a as quite a funny moment was uh, I had had a weird a weird tire malfunction, yes, shall we say? The the Illuminati Illuminati tire, <laughs> where the uh, I was chasing Tom down. And uh, I got to a point where, where I was sort of getting quite close to him, threw it into a corner, and then all of a sudden the tyre came off. The front tyre came the off. The front tyre came off, but then put itself back on. It was really odd. Like, it, it we didn't notice until we uh, watched the footage back, like at the end of the day, that it had actually sort of like, it had come off, worked its way back on, um, and then had uh, like put itself inside out on, from yeah. the inside edge. Uh, so that, that was quite quite interesting um, and then later on that day I had some more tyre trouble where uh, I flipped into the first corner um, got the initiation in there brought it back round and then my rear tyre came off the bead and it straightened me up and threw me straight into a tyre wall it's a fucking police car again he's going to think you're uh, doing something wrong doing something dodgy, dodgy. They're like, oh, we're following you around the we just we just do YouTube, mate. <laughs> we don't do drugs. We do YouTube. <laughs> we're just peddling vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that, that was the last run of the day, so it, it was it was a weird way to end the day, shall we say? Yeah. But yeah, uh, we, had no, get, we had to get towed out of the tyre wall, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that was quite quite an interesting uh, end to the day. Yeah, but I think that that definitely rocking gum number one can't wait to go back mm-hmm. like we might even end up it being our first first venue after the cars are done going to I'd like it I, I, going as, to Rockingham uh, yeah, it's saying talking about doing Rockingham is I think the only thing that, that bugs me is it's only a slight slight peeve but there's no there's no calendar yeah like we, we, yeah. we still don't know when when the, the next or when the first 
Yeah, yeah um, not like Drift Day is not like be. Santa Pod where you, you can plan basically for the, year, for the whole year, can't yeah. you? Yeah, you can book things in months in advance, but with Rocking Up, it's, it's very much uh, yeah. You, you know, notifications will go out, and then you, know, yeah, you need first to come, jump first on. serve. And I think because of that is the reason why they sell out so quick. Yeah, you know, they book up so quick. Yeah. Um, so if you're watching this, um, I'd, I'd I'd recommend waiting like two hours after the the time. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, just so we can get our <laughs> tickets first, and then and then, <laughs> and then you you guys can do as you damn well please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but let, uh, let's get ours first, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that moves us nicely on to um, 2017, this year coming up. Yeah. Um, you, you've probably seen um, the the both of our cars are up at uh, Look at Our Power at the moment in the capable hands of Tom Asbury. Um, what started off as a as a as a, as a re a repaint uh, a respray uh, in a new colour. Um, Certainly on my car, has it, turned into a small restoration project. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah. <laughs> it does seem like it. I, <laughs> the one beer's not doing doing very well. <laughs> no, it certainly uh, it certainly thrown up a few uh, a few little nightmares that, that we kind of didn't didn't know about before. Um, one of them being I, I had a I, I had a rusty sill, um, which on the face of it didn't appear that bad, but then. No. Uh, uh, until we started like li literally digging deeper <laughs> and uh, it turns out that I think the majority of the the sill needs replacing so um, yeah, yeah pro good. props to Tommy's uh, unfortunately he's had to take on a lot of extra work on my car he's not 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 had a chance to start on yours yet because no, really. mine's taken so long yeah yeah so if you, if you could if you could fuck off mate <laughs> I, I'd like my car in paint <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so so yeah, obviously we're, we're getting all the work done to our cars at the minute. Um, hopefully, I'm, I mean, I'm hoping you know, a couple of weeks after this video, we should be at a point where we get them back and we can do a bit of a release. Yeah, I hope so. That'd be nice. Yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, um, yeah, then we're, we're basically we're going to try and do. Obviously, we we did a fair amount of drifting this year, uh, uh, last year, sorry, but this year we want to try and try and step it up a little bit and we want to want to visit some more tracks like we've never been to three sisters we've never been to um teesside. teesside and stuff like that so we want to want to check out some new tracks um as well as revisiting the old ones yeah um so yeah we'll um we hope that you've been, enjoyed this video uh little <laughs> i know it's quite long so if you have actually stuck through to the end like Fair play, because <laughs> yeah. it, it's uh, it's become quite a long one. Um, Unfortunately, yeah. there's no secret hidden discount code at the end of this video. No, it says uh, no. But if you're still here, uh, use the code YT10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, it's still active, and you can get 10% off anything on, on the store. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, if you've liked this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Like the, the thumbs up are really important for YouTube now, uh, so we'd appreciate it if you just take take a little bit of time, give us a thumbs up on the video. Um, comment below if you've got any questions for us or anything like that and of course make sure you subscribe check out our other videos um, and hopefully the next video will be in like a week's time something like that and we'll have some more stuff for you to to look at catch you in the next video yeah.